بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم جمعين اللهم انفعني بما علمتني وعلمني بما ينفعني وزدني علما إنك أنت العليم الحكيم My topic today is about abdominal wall mass lesion differential diagnosis common and less common causes and examples of these masses. The most common cause of abdominal wall mass include hernia, either inguinal, ventral, umbilical, spigillian, femoral, and lumbar hernia. And another causes, another co common causes abdominal wall abscess, sebaceous cyst, lipoma, colloid, hematoma, baroumbilical varices, muscle asymmetry, injection site. What are the key for differential diagnosis issue? Physical examination and CT scan are the key in distinguishing among hernias and various abdominal wall masses. Most masses have characteristic appearance on CT scan. Some are has non-specific soft tissue density mass lesion require biopsy and or excision. The helpful Clues for common diagnosis. Inguinal hernia contain fat or bowel or both. May extend to the scrotum or labia. As we see in this axial CT scan, herniated sac on the right inguinal region and it is anterior to the femoral vessels. containing a small bowel. Ventral hernia, it is a defective through the midline and most common after surgery. If it is no surgery, it is defect in the linea alba. If it is after surgery, it is in, due in the maybe a little bit away from the midline and at the site of the incision. As we see here, there is a defect in the midline of abdominal wall, and there is a small bowel herniated through the midline defect, and we have multiple dilated lobes due to obstruction. Incidentally, there is left renal cyst with a mural hematoma with into a with the mural atherosclerotic changes of atherosclerotic changes involving the aorta. Umbilical hernia, there is, it is okay through the umbilical ring and common in patient with ascites. Spigillian hernia, it is okay through the defect lateral to the rectus muscle and it is often covered by external oblique muscle and abneurosis. In this example, on the left side, there is a defect. This is the left lateral left, left uh, rectus muscle, and there is a defect lateral to the rectal muscle containing colon, and it is covered by the abneurosis and uh, or abneurosis of the external oblique muscle. Femoral hernia, it is medial uh, to and compresses femoral vein, likely, due, likely to strangulate, and it is common in female. As we see here, it is, there is a hernia, it is medial to the femoral vein, and lateral to the pubic tubercle. And usually these hernias cause obstruction and strangulation. 
lumbar hernia it is occurs through the defect where abdominal wall muscle insert on iliac crest or thoracolumbar fascia inferior lumbar triangle or occur in a defect in oblique and transverse abdominal wall muscle and often covered by latissimus dorsi and by latissimus dorsi muscle as we see here there is a defect in the posterior abdominal wall through the thoracolumbar fascia and the latissimus dorsi muscle consistent with uh, deformity with lumbar hernia Abdominal wall abscess, it should be encapsulated with or without gas. If it is not encapsulated, it is a cellulitis. Sometimes also we consider enterocutaneous fistula from the diverticulosis or diverticulitis. As we see here, this is patient with the surgical uh, repair of the hernia with mesh here, and there is uh, encapsulated abscess in the subcutaneous tissue. Sebaceous cyst, common, seen as a small spherical or oval well encapsulated mass lesion with low density done enhancing contents without surrounding infiltration. As we see here on the right side of the buttock, low density mass lesion uh, in the subcutaneous tissue. Lipoma, it is common in the subcutaneous tissue and between the muscle blends. Uniform fat density with no visible blood vessel inside the lipoma. Liposarcoma, more complex appearance with visible blood vessels, may be of near water attenuation and it is due to myxoid elements of the tumor. Colloid, it is common in the subcutaneous tissue as a scar at the site of cutaneous injury and it is common in the African American. Hematoma, it is a heterogeneous, a relatively high density focal mass lesion, become more uniformly low density as it lyses, more diffuse without mass effect due to ecomosis in response to focal trauma or anticoagulant, look for the fluid level within the hematoma. As we see here, uh, axial CT scan with patient with peritoneal dialysis skeletal and large hematoma on the subcutaneous tissue. High density compared to the surrounding muscles. Baraumbilical varices, common in severe cirrhosis with portal hypertension, representing a serpiginous enhancing structure that connect to falciform ligament. Muscle asymmetry, common after surgery, paralysis, or poliomyelitis. Injection site, common in the subcutaneous tissue of anterior abdominal wall and the buttocks, may contain gas, soft tissue density, also may calcified at the site of the uh, injection due to granuloma formation. Less common causes, we have endometriosis, we have calcinosis syndromes, metastasis, lymphoma, leukemia, dysmoid tumor, and sarcoma or abdomyolysis. What are the helpful clues for the less common causes? Endometriosis may implant in the abdominal wall at the site prior to caesarean section or hysterectomy. Ask the patient about the history of cyclic, cyclical pain and the swelling at the site of the mass. As we see here, there is patient 
soft uh, this patient uh, with uh, axial CT scan uh, with the soft tissue density at, at the midline of the anterior abdominal wall move to the right side at the site of the skull of caesarean section. The patient has uh, cyclical bail and it, it is endometriosis. Calcinosis syndrome, we have dystrophic calcification response to tissue injury, such as implanted medical device, connective tissue diseases uh, like scleroderma, dermatomyositis, crest, or severe pancreatitis with fat necrosis. Metastatic in patient with uh, calcium phosphate imbalance renal failure milk alkali syndrome. Tumor calcinosis large globular deposit near the joint. Metastasis uh, to the Abdominal wall, mainly from the melanoma and renal cell carcinoma. The mass or masses in the subcutaneous tissue of the muscle, and it is see overlooked on CT scan, may appear on the bit CT scan, may occur at the site of surgery for gallbladder, renal, or colon cancer. As we see here, patient with uh, a urinary, uh, urinary bladder tumor with after cystectomy, we have lymph node metastasis into abdominal and subcutaneous to soft tissue mass in the anterior to the left lateral rectus muscle to the left lateral to the left uh, rectus muscle. Lymphoma and leukemia, cutaneous T cell lymphoma, also known as mycosis, mycosis fungoides or scissory syndrome. Skin, second, the most common cause of extra nodal lymph, lymphoma after GI. Leukemia cutis, also known as chloroma or granulocytic sarcoma. It is moidy tumor, known as uh, also fibromatosis, and it is benign but aggressive growth tumor and associated with Gardiner syndrome. Here, this patient has Gardiner syndrome uh, or prior to colectomy with a large mass in the uh, large mass in the uh, rectus lower part of the rectus muscle, consistent with uh, dysmoid. Sarcoma, it is rare heterogeneous vascular tumor with foci of necrosis. As we see here, into a extra abdominal mass lesion by load. This is in the subcutaneous tissue and this is in the abdominal with surgically removing the sarcomatous tumor. Abdomyolysis, muscle necrosis in response to crush injury, seizures, statine medication boldly defined and minimally enhancing lesion within the skeletal muscle. Commonly leads to severe renal damage due to release of myoglobin, myoglobin and into the blood stream. Thank you for listening. Hoping to see you soon in another in another session of differential diagnosis.